Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Long Dark. Good morning, Bingo Bard. How are you doing? So, today, we're going to be picking back up with where we left Delilah off. Morning, Night Owl. Nice to see you. Um, so Delilah, last we left off, had just survived her plane crash, uh, gathered some supplies, and made it to a house. But it is midnight, so I believe when I hit resume here, we are going to be in the pitch black, and we're going to need to come up with a plan. Here we are. So, because we are inside, you can see we are starting to warm up. But... We need sleep pretty badly, and food and water is not a bad idea either. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around until I see the door. I'm going to leave. I know there's wolves out here, but I have some ideas to get things started. rabbits being eaten by werewolves, by wolves now. Werewolves. Werewolves would be an interesting addition. I'm freezing. So this house is actually, oddly enough, one of the places I've spent the most time in in the game. Even though we'll discuss later why there's some other regions that are much more popular. I know it's got this little front porch. This front porch is great because I am technically inside. You can see I'm starting to warm up again already. The moment I'm inside the porch, this is considered inside. But uh, I can see what's going on outside, so that can provide me some information necessary for survival. And if I need to, if, if an animal got close, I could shut the door I'm and tired. keep them from getting to me, probably. So, big differences between this mode and easier mode, um, and easier difficulties on survival. There's a lot of resources that just aren't in this mode. So you may have noticed the loading tip when we were first loading in was about a hunting rifle. There are no guns. There are no guns on interloper difficulty. Um, you also will not find a hatchet, and you will not find a knife. Uh, you will need to find your way to a forge to make those. Um, so there's a lot of tools that in earlier difficulties your priority is to salvage till you find those tools because that makes you lethal to other animals and gives you other things you can use to survive here that that's not an option also the weather tends to be harsher so it's just colder more of the time um which is more difficult to deal with um, and other broad resources. You're not going to find as much food or medicine or things like that on this difficulty either. So, in this porch, we have found a pry bar. This is a heavy tool, but it will allow us to break into lockers and car trunks that may be locked otherwise. So that'll get us access to more resources as we scavenge as well. So it is the exact middle of the night. And I don't have a way to make light at the moment. I need to think. I have a soda. So I talked about this before. You see the asterisks with the percentage next to it. That is the condition 
of the item, and that's for every inventory item in the game. Stuff wears down over time. It can become ruined if it hits zero, at which point there's no saving it. With food, low condition, anything below 50%, means I could get food poisoning if I try to eat it. Soda is the exception. Low condition soda, you can still drink, and you'll be fine. So, um, this will provide fluids so I won't be as thirsty, and it will provide me some calories, so I'll have a little time here. Which I'll need, because if I go to sleep and those are low, I could starve to death in my sleep, and that would be bad. So, and that'll probably be... As I start to get a handle on the difficulty, that'll be the thing that starts killing me the most, is not managing those meters enough. Um, and, uh, so we're going to try to be careful about that. <laughs> Raven, no worries. Uh, this is Delilah still. This is Delilah, we had made it to the house, and we're trying to figure out what we're going to do, because it's the middle of the night. Uh, so I know this house. I mostly know the layout of this house. But I can tell you all of the beds in this house that I could use to sleep are upstairs. And I don't think I can navigate that completely in the dark. Probably. But I know there's a barn over there. And you can sleep in some of the hay in the barn. And that might be easier to find. Maybe. I could stumble around in there. It's at least a, a smaller area. I think I'm going to go for that. And even if I could just sleep a couple hours before needing to figure out my next step, that would be good. So I think we're going to do that. If we see some wolves, we might have to just run back. Yeah, yeah, you're freezing to death. It's okay. There's some wolves. Got another soda. That's good. I've never felt so cold in my life. So here's an example. You see that lock symbol. I can use the pry bar to open this up. Which I think I'll do. Nothing. Okay. So when I've emptied a car, I lift the hood on it so that I can tell in the distance that car is searched and there's no more resources in it. And that's just something I do to help me. Probably shouldn't be sprinting that much. So we're gonna make our way over to this barn. See if we can stumble our way to a place where we can sleep. Yeah, I... I don't entirely disagree, Night Owl. I assume it's partially game balance, but um, hopefully, eventually, I will have a bedroll that I could just lay down and I can sleep in that. Um, and there are there are lots of places throughout the game you can lay down and sleep, so it's not too weird. Oh, there's just enough moonlight in here I can actually see. I don't know if you guys can see on the stream, but I can see a little bit. Um, so that's good. Uh, what do I have for firewood? I forgot wood. I don't have a way to, to light the fire, though. That's what I need. And it is not warm in here. So, here's my dilemma. With that temperature meter all the way down, if I were to go to sleep, I would freeze to death. Um, you see nothing. Okay. I'll see. This will come in handy. I found some matches on a shelf in here. 
so let's let's start that and we'll get you guys some light. Oh, I don't have any tinder. Can it make any tinder? Alright, I'm turning stick into tinder. And then we're going to use the tinder. Just kind of want that bug. Okay. Let's see if we can start a fire. We'll start warming up and maybe get a little bit of sleep while we're in here. Come on, come on. Damn it! Apologize for the darkness. I don't plan on spending too much time in the dark <laughs> as we go along. <sighs> okay, we got a little heat now. get that fire going as long as we can. Um, hey, put some firewood on the floor. Add some sticks. Alright, since we're low on thirst and hunger, we're gonna drink that other soda we found. Actually, since we've got an empty can, I'm gonna use that to boil some water, melt some snow, boil some water. Um, so this stack of hay over here, which I know you can't really see because the encoder does not like darkness, but that stack of hay counts as a bed. Um, I can spend some time sleeping there. We're warming up nicely. I'm wondering if I cannot break down the planks with my bare hands. I'm wondering if there's more I could find in here, but I might want to wait for daylight. But I've used up basically all of my firewood at this point. Again, my goal is just to get to morning. In daylight, it'll be warmer in the afternoon. We can use the light to search the house, find more supplies to get us through the next couple of days. Um, at the very least. And we won't be on constantly dying anymore. Alright, I am at risk of hypothermia. I need to I'll need to watch out for that. Um, even though I am warming up, the hypothermia takes longer to get rid of. If we get hypothermia, we start freezing to death even faster, and we don't want that, so... Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass time till the water is boiling. I'm going to drink that water. Let's see. We've got two hours and 23 minutes left on that fire. I am going to sleep for two hours. And what's going to happen is the screen is going to fade to black. And I might just die. If I've done something wrong, I will just die. So hopefully I've done the math right. All right, we've woken up, and we're no longer at risk of hypothermia, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to put more snow in there to melt. The sun is just starting to rise. I want to take a look around to see if there's any other broken pieces of wood or sticks or anything I can throw in here. Yes, I found a piece of broken wood. I'll throw that in. That should get us another thing of water, at least. 
<laughs> yes, waking up alive. That is step one. Um, our temperature is full now, which is great. You can hear the blizzard out there, though. Um, can't get this ladder. That bothers me. Um... You can climb up into the rafters on this barn and sometimes find more equipment. I feel like I want more light before I do that, because if I fall, I will definitely hurt myself. We'll just get our water and see where we're at. Go ahead and drink up what we've got. Okay. Take our can with us. So obviously, we're still pretty tired, but we're getting hungry at this point. We're about to have enough light that we'll be able to walk around um, in the house, no problem. The um, blizzard's obviously bad, but since we're only going a short distance, and it should be a mostly straight shot, I don't think we'll get lost. So, let's try to get over there. So this is what a blizzard looks like. I'm sure the encoder is having a blast with this, too. Um, the advantage of a blizzard is I know there aren't any wolves out. So don't have to worry about those, at least. And when I'm close enough, I can see the power lines. So I'm kind of using those and the uh, trench for the road to make my way back towards the barn house. Let's see if we can see anything in here. Still no. That is okay. There is a refrigerator right next to this door. We're going to check that. In the fridge freezer. Is there a door at all? Yes, it's very windy. Um, so you can see, even that short distance, I, I got very cold very fast in a blizzard. Um, being out in the snow also gets your clothes wet. That's what this little blue meter means. As your clothes get wet, that makes you colder and it ruins your clothing over time as well. Um, so that's where some clothes are more resistant to getting wet over time. Got a little rosy cheeks. Um, it's possible for wet clothing to become frozen, and that, that also is no good. Those would be problems as well. So we're just gonna we're gonna wait a little bit, let the sun rise. In fact, we're just gonna wait inside. It'll be black for a little bit, but we'll see the sun start to peek through over time. I can already almost make out some windows. clothes uh, over time. If they're just not getting more wet, they will dry out over time. Or if you get them near a heat source, if you get them near a fire, they will dry out and thaw out, um, even if they're on your person. There's some other fun tricks you can do with that, so every time every time I open up my inventory, you can hear a, a zipper, like I have a backpack, um, which is just sort of assumed by the game. Um, and so if you're going to be in a situation where you know your clothing will get wet, you can take your clothing off and put it in your backpack, and then it won't get wet. Um, you're just running around in your underwear. 
uh, in a blizzard or whatever the situation may be. So you, you can run into problems there, but sometimes, you know, tough choices need to be made. Alright, I am going to pass time just a little bit. Yeah, that's just, that's just the sound of the wind. Um, rattling shutters and whatever else. It's just old buildings, you know. There we go. I can now see the kitchen, and we can start to take a look around and see what we have. Got an old note. Bread is about two parts flour and one part water, at equal parts salt and rising agent. Small pile about the size of a quarter. Yeast, if you're lucky. Baking soda, if you're not. Raw dough should be tacky, but not wet after kneading. Heat at 400 degrees for 30 minutes if the oven works. If you only have a fire, drop the dough in a heavy preheated pan and rotate every 10 minutes until evenly brown. You hear a hollow sound when tapping the crust. Hi, Narsty. Um, so you can see this note was contributed by one of the Kickstarter backers. You can find a bunch of these throughout the game. Unfortunately, bread baking is not in the game, but the notes are all filled out like survival tips and things like that, so those can be fun to read for sure. We got a sewing tip, come in handy. so we can repair some clothing. We can start taking a look around. I'm gonna take charcoal out the stove. We'll use that later. No firewood, but we can break some stuff down to make more firewood. Start searching cabinets. Can opener, super cool. Um, if you find canned food, you can just open it. But you open it essentially by breaking it open, and when you do that, some of the food gets wasted. If you find a can opener, the food doesn't get wasted from opening the can, because there's no spillage. This will come in handy. There we go. Grade A maple syrup. A lot of calories. Calories are what we're looking for, so that'll keep us going for a little while. So the pipes are all frozen, so you can't get running water, but toilets do have a reservoir, and so if we need to, we can take water from the toilets, and that's potable, drinkable water. Just a regular book, kindling. Take the charcoal out of here, too. I'm gonna end up carrying too much charcoal. We'll work on that. Exhausted. Do we take a risk on some food and then take another power nap? Or do I just let myself get exhausted for a little while? I could eat anything right now. Hey, this candy bar is good, so we're gonna go ahead and just eat that. Said, I'm familiar with this house, I understand its layout, but I'm also used to easier difficulty modes, so I don't know what level of supplies I'm going to find in here at this moment. We're just going to search everything, gather whatever we can. Ski jacket, and it's in really good condition.
I'm gonna take 10 minutes to tear apart this towel so I can have some cloth handy. Um, which you can use the cloth to make bandages or to repair other things. I wanna have a little bit on me. Um, so, Delilah is getting sleepy. She's so exhausted that she'll start losing health again. Um, but obviously we can cure that by sleeping a little bit. Uh, you'll notice I got a sprain risk. Um, uh, that is because I'm so exhausted that any, any time walking now, I could, I could sprain an ankle. Um, but we're going to keep searching for stuff. get to a point where I'm sleeping at night uh, is what I want. Sleeping during the day makes it very difficult to travel. The blizzard will stop eventually. All the rattling will stop. Uh, no, you will not find a bear spray in this game. Okay, so this is dusting sulfur. It's a pesticide in the game. Um, we're going to leave it here, but if you collect some of that uh, in lower difficulties, when you can get a gun, you can use that and some other chemicals to make gunpowder in order to make your own bullets. I think I can use this. Water purification tablets can save us time when it comes to making drinkable water. Some more matches, that's good. Matches are life. Take this ring with us. This will come in handy. I don't think I'm gonna keep the whetstone with me. Oh. Because I don't have an eye for hatchet. I'll need to make one. So carrying that around just feels like carrying extra weight. At the moment, at least. This is one of the work tables you can craft with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the whetstone in here. That's just a useful tool I'll want later. Perfect. And we have a hammer. This is good. This is our first real tool. We're going to keep that on us. That'll make breaking down tables and chairs for wood to be good. We got a research book for fishing. See if they left any laundry in the wash. Nope, not this time. Okay. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Here, take the tools. And we're gonna put that on the workbench too. Have a nice little workstation. that up and place it. There we go. So if we ever need to make it back here, we know we've got some supplies on the workbench for making more tools. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Okay, so we're getting hungry. We're still exhausted. Uh, I'll admit we didn't find as much as I was hoping for in here. Um, there, the blizzard has stopped. We're gonna get a little sleep in. Let's eat those chips. And drink some water. And let's, let's sleep another 
that's half my calories, but that's okay. Let's sleep three hours, get it into the afternoon. And there is, if we go out and leave this house and the barn, there is a little village we can, oh, I missed this. A little village we can get to. I may have more supplies. Ugh, I'm starving. I have a feeling we're gonna need to eat some bad food at some point. Okay. So, first thing I'm gonna do is actually... Can I not use the charcoal? Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. So, I've been collecting charcoal from fireplaces and stuff. This is what you use it for. You take 10 I'm minutes, starving. and you can fill out a map. You survey your area, and you'll write in what you find in that area. We're going to, as we play, slowly, hopefully, fill out a bunch of the area on the map. And we can keep better track of where we are and where we're going. Do I have any? I've got three stones. I'm not going to carry any more than that. Nothing else in this barn. I'm going down here by this river because cattails, again, are a source of food. We can find some down here that can help us keep going. Looks like not so lucky at the moment. Okay, we'll keep going. No, so the charcoal here, it's not like briquettes. It's, it's already burnt out wood, is what it is. It's just little pieces you can use to dry out your map. You can find Great Bear Mountain had a coal mining industry. So you can find hunks of coal, which are very, very useful for getting a hot fire very quickly that will last a long time. Well, that's not how this charcoal works. Check here for any other supplies. No. So, this whole region, that's the Pleasant Valley Farmstead we just left. And, um, so this whole part of the map is called Pleasant Valley. It's a very large section of the map. It's very open like this. Um, and so it's easy to see threats. Like, you can see wolves from very far away. And there's several buildings. You, it's easy to, to map out and know where you are a lot of the time. And so the downside... Of Pleasant Valleys. It has more blizzards than any other region. And so that's why we're going to try to keep on the move as much as possible. I think I need to lay down. We want to grab supplies and get out of here if we can. We'll search this car. Do I? If I don't, we'll warm up soon. Put it back. Pop that hood. I'm getting cold. I'm going to start starving soon again. But hey, if we make it to sunset, we'll have survived 24 hours, so... So obviously there's a barn over there, which may have some supplies, but I'm actually going to keep going. So I've got some energy. Because, like I said, there's a village with a bunch of little houses. Mm -hmm. 
there is an achievement in the game uh, called Diligent Cartographer, I believe it is, where all of the named locations, if you map every single one in the entire game, you get the achievement. Um, and maybe, hopefully, if we get a really good run going, we'll start to work on that, too. Feels like an empty pit. There's a dead deer there, but it's definitely frozen out here. Weird that there's no birds, it must be completely ravaged. You can see the houses. Yes, that was a car battery. Um, those can be salvaged for lead, which you can use to make ammunition, again, in a difficulty that has guns. Uh, the car batteries will not have electricity because of the spooky apocalypse going on. All the electronics are wonky. Nothing works. Okay, we've gathered a bunch of sticks. Let's start checking these buildings. Actually, since food is the biggest concern, I'm actually going to start over here at the end. Because this here in a corner is a convenience store. Little gas station. I'm willing to bet this will have food. Okay. Start warming up a little bit. Let's start searching it for food. I could use this. Crackers. More spray paint. Tea bags. Another sewing kit. Yes, I can make tea. Um, herbal tea. If you make it and drink it, one does have a few calories, which is which is worthwhile at the moment. Um, I'll take it. Lots of sewing kits. Um, and also, herbal tea makes it so that uh, you get more healing when you sleep. More matches. Here we got a oh, can of tomato soup. Day. That's gonna be good. All right. I need to be not freezing to death. Because my health is getting a lot lower than I'd really be comfortable with. I know there's cars to search, but actually I want to get... I don't know how exhausted. I want to get inside so I can start getting some of my meters up. Um, there's a little town hall here with a big fireplace and a stove. I'm hoping there's just some ready-made firewood and we can just get some of this working. I am too tired to think straight. Okay. No firewood. Firewood? No firewood. Okay, we're gonna have to make some. Well, I suppose I could start a fire with sticks while I sort everything else out. I've got sticks. Take the charcoal. I'm out of tinder again. Keep forgetting that. All right, we're gonna try. Hopefully, we don't die while we set up a fire. <laughs> we should be okay. <laughs> so 
So using sticks as my firewood, this fire won't burn fire. very long, but I've got a handful of sticks, so we'll stack it up and maybe we'll get we'll get enough to cook the soup at least. Come on. Alright, we have a half hour fire. Cook the can of soup. So the soup has a condition of 27% which is below 50. But when you cook something, its quality goes up by 50%. So by the time that's done cooking, it will be safe to eat. We'll get some water going too. Also, by eating this soup, we will uh, have an extra can so we can do more uh, water at once. That down. Okay. All right. I know for a fact there's another uh, cabinet on that side, but I'll need to break down the tables before they'll let me get to it. Nothing back here. Eat the soup. We'll use that can to make more water. So you use the hammer to break some things down. I don't want to take too long though. I want to see if I can find something I can break down to wood in 10, 15 minutes. I don't know I'm going to find that um, at the moment. Yep, can opener came in handy there. Didn't lose any calories from the soup. You'll notice there's a plus sign on my temperature meter of air because I ate hot food. For a little while, at least, I'll uh, be warmer. 45 minutes to break down. We're going to end up breaking some stuff down as we go. Anything in the kitchen. are becoming an issue. I think we're just going to end up risking food poisoning here. Hope nobody needs this anymore. More matches are good. Oh, we're just... That's good. That's good. We're gonna eat that now. Before that gets any worse. So sardines, little calories, a little moisture. I think I can use this. More tea. Tea's good. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's eat All the chips. I can think about is food. Yep. Hey, got some potable water out of there, so we'll drink that. How 
long does it take for me to break down this table? One hour, 200 calories. Yep, and we are in Canada, so that's why they're here. So we're gonna take our hammer and start breaking stuff. I'm gonna need to eat soon. I need to build up a store of some water because if I eat bad food and I get food poisoning, it's hydration that becomes the biggest issue. Right now, that didn't work. Dang it! Uh, I don't want to risk it just yet because I don't know. I don't have enough water to deal with it. I have been here before. All right, we got some more tinder. So if I can get a good fire going for a little while, and I can make up, you know, like a gallon of water between my two cans. Come on, little fire. Um, then maybe there Perfect. we go. Let's cook that other soup. Then I'll risk some more of the uh, the bad food, and I'll feel like I'd be able to handle it if I have to. starting to become nighttime again, which we can use this bed to sleep in, which is good. And tomorrow, we'll uh, see about searching the rest of this little village for whatever supplies we can. Keep this soup so we don't starve to death in our sleep. And then let's make one of those herbal teas. Why not? I don't have enough water to make herbal tea. Okay, take this. Now cook an herbal tea, please. Do you make more water? We're gonna drink the maple syrup. That's a lot of calories and I need it. Don't get sick. We didn't get sick. And we'll drink this tea. Make as much water as we can and get some sleep with the tea. Take the tea. Make more water. And hopefully between the tea and the sleep, we'll get some health back. Drink the water. Make more water. I have survived 24 hours. I just got the achievement, face the impossible. <laughs> All right, so the spoopy music now is because I am super low health, and that's because we're exhausted, but we're about to fix that, no worries. Let's sleep for five hours.
Okay. It's the middle of the night. Woken up. You're still hungry. I'll drink the cold tea. Sun is starting to rise. So our health has actually gone up a little bit. We're doing, we are okay a little bit. A little bit. Um, I'm gonna take my cans back. Come here. Um, less than half a gallon of water. We're gonna need to eat, you know what? We're just gonna start risking it. I got a stale granola bar and I got some stale crackers. We're just gonna eat them and hope for the best. Okay, we are doing okay so far. I can sneak a little more sleep in. Sun really rise. Okay, welcome to morning. Our meters are okay. Our health is below half, which I don't love, but let's see what we can find today. Alright, I'm gonna go back and search these cars so that they're done over here. Hello. Thought I heard an animal. Oh, I'm sorry, an RSD. There's always you gotta you gotta go through all the permissions and denials. All kinds of stuff. Setting up a new computer. These don't open, and there's nothing back here. There's obviously a bunch of stuff I can break, but... We're gonna try to just search as quickly as possible. Hey, that is a wool hat. That is a great hat. We're going to try to be quick so we don't have to worry about hypothermia too much today. Because oh, I'm tired of losing health. I want to get health. <laughs> Nothing in the mailbox. Okay. Got a little house. Uh, let's... Put on wool hat. There we go. It's pronounced toque. We'll warm up while we're searching inside. Peaches and soda. That's the best fridge we found. What's up? This will come in handy. Firewood is good.
affect the socks for now. Sports socks are not as good as wool socks when it comes to temperature. And temperature is one of my biggest concerns at the moment. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Second parka. Can we wear parka on top of parka? I believe so. Oh, we have the ski jacket. That's right. Well, it's a better condition parka. Put that on. At some point, we're going to need to sort out our clothing, tear apart the stuff that's no good, and repair the stuff that is, but not just yet. Looking. Sometimes they like to hide stuff. Hey, wool socks, what's up? That's what I wanted. I want to get as warm as possible. You know what? I'm actually going to... Let's take some toilet water. I don't have to worry about boiling that. the next house. I don't think there's anything behind this. <laughs> Cute little village, little planters. House. Obviously, all destroyed and stuff, so there's no going inside Did I there. Say I hate being cold because I really do. So, the books don't work as tinder, but they will work, they function the same as firewood, and they're very good at for starting a fire. So, if you have some tinder and a book, you can get a fire going. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Let me take the gloves for now. The gloves will provide leather, which you can use to repair your shoes and things like that. Hey, there we go. This is what I've been searching the ovens this. for, is I want a cooking pot. So this will let me boil more water at once. And also, if you cook food in it, it cooks a little faster. So we can get our hands on some meat. That'll, that'll be helpful. This will come in handy. Okay, crew neck sweatshirt. Heavy cotton instead of wool, but you know. Keep us covered. Bandage is good. just a plaid shirt 
for sure. I don't think anything else. Oh. Driving gloves are in really good condition. And they're technically slightly warmer than my fleece gloves. I'll put them on. Why not? Okay. Let's keep looking. I know there's some birds out here. Let's check out what that's about. Did I check in here? I did. Okay. We got a bobby. Thank you very much. So some of the names on the tombstones and stuff, some of them are characters in the story, but others are just more Kickstarter backers. So that's fun. Yes, Seahawk, as I start to carry more stuff, I do clang around a little more. Um, you know what? I will take a book to burn. Ooh, stack of papers. So stack of papers is good for making lots of tinder at once. So I'll take one for sure. Anything else useful? Shelf, book, firewood. Not much else. Super cute little church though. Hmm. Thank you, Anaristi. Take more charcoal. No fire with here. More houses to check. So I'm kind of hoping to get a little more firewood on me. I might have to break some stuff down to make it. Obviously food is an issue, but with firewood, if I can find like a deer carcass, I could warm it up with the firewood to the point that I could salvage some of the meat with my bare hands. Oh. Which that could get me going for a while. Dang it. Oh, so cold. We got cold again. Get some of these cattails while we're down here. Really? Nothing? Okay. Cool. Cool. That's fine. Searched all the little houses over here. Got some food, but not a lot. Cold again. Keep gathering more sticks. Both of these houses are boarded up, you can't actually get into them, but cars could have supplies. It's a very good game, Raven. It's a very good game. Like I 
I said, if if this seems like too much or, or you're not uh, you're not as interested. Oh god, that one's close. <laughs> Y'all heard that, right? He was like on the other side of that house. I want to check this truck just for completeness. Come on. Yep, he's right there. All right, Wolfie. Come back here. that up. Oh, he sees me. We're gonna move. Ali, Ali, oxen free. We've made it back to safety. I'm so hungry in my life. I've got some food on me. Um, we'll warm up again. Um, some toilet water that worked out. I want to spend some time today if I can repairing the clothing I need to. Um, which fire? What have I got? That's some. I've got enough for like one really good fire. Okay. I think right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. I will be back and we will see what we do next. Well, hello. Uh Miyamatsumo. Thank you for joining me. Uh interloper, we've made it over 24 hours. So, we've done we've done okay so far. Um so I'm going to take just a quick break. I will be right back and we'll see what we could do for our next steps of our plan.
Welcome back. Everyone can still see me, hear me. Very good. Um, thank you, Bingo Bard, for, for catching everyone up. Um, I'm glad everyone's enjoying the game. Okay, so we're going to want to make a fire, cook the food we have, um, make as much tea as we can, um, so that that's just ready to go. Um, and we're going to need to get out of here, because uh, I think we just don't have enough supplies to keep going. So if we look at the world map, this is Pleasant Valley. Here's where we are. Um, this is this is Great Bear Island. This is what the whole thing looks like. I know that there's a forge in the Forlorn Muskeg. And so this is where I want to get to if I want to start making tools. Arrowheads and a the hatchet and such. So I want to start making my way that way. So I think... We want to get into Mystery Lake or, or just anywhere on the train tracks to get out of here. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty close to a cave system that I think comes out somewhere over here. In fact, I think that's this river down this way. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to spend the rest of the day preparing as much, repairing our clothing, and tomorrow we'll head out for that cave system and hopefully with the daylight we'll be able to navigate through the cave but there will be enough enough light coming in through holes and such i think that's the plan um Miyamatsuma, that's very cool this is this is my first time trying interloper so you know we're, we're about to hit 48 hours alive um so that's very exciting at this point Is that just the hypothermia risk? Okay, that's about to end. Um, time. We got time. I don't know what's most efficient for firewood. Um, I'm just gonna break down this table. Okay, and then the only food I can cook is the peaches, but we'll do that. Right now. And so, this is what I was talking about. With uh, with the firewood, you can see I have a 60% chance to start the fire, but if I use a book, I've got an 80% chance to start, so we will use that. Oh well, no... Yeah, I'm I'm worried about going up the mountains at this point. I am I am not super familiar with that half of the map. I'm not very familiar with any part of the map, if I'm honest. Um, we'll use the rolling wood that's heavier. But I cook. I want to. I want to get better at it, and, and the interloper is just so much fun for me. Um, that I, in in lower difficulties, as soon as you get, uh, <laughs> as soon as you get a gun going, a lot of problems go away, and so I, I like, I like the feel of this right now. I think we're going to store up on calories as much as possible. And then, uh... Repair clothes and, and just... Hope for the best tomorrow. That's the plan. <laughs> Alright. Eat the peaches. get a bunch of water going. That'll take a long time, but I've got, got the firewood for it right now. Let's get some time. What, what can I break apart? Okay, we 
didn't boil out all the water. Oh, I'm starving. We did good. Make some teas. I think at this point I'm gonna just start eating the food even though it's not in good condition because I need the calories. Oh. Please be okay. Please be okay. I mean, does jerky even really go bad? Hey, we did okay. <laughs> I'm very pleased. Okay. Moldy jerky sounds very bad. Uh -huh. No, no thanks. Uh... We'll cook another tea. I believe. Let's see if I can do this correctly. If I place it. Near the fire. There's a way. I don't I don't know how. I'll practice it, but there's a way to keep a cup of, of hot tea or a cup of hot coffee near a fire so that it won't there so that it won't boil out we'll see what happens um i'm gonna need just a little more fire going until we get all of that water <laughs> well i've seen i've seen some other people do this in streams and i'm trying to i'm trying to kind of figure it out maybe a little bit i don't know I'm, I don't think I'm very good at it, but I, you know, I'm going to try. Alright, that's going to take 13 minutes. What, what can I repair? That takes a half hour. Alright, we're going to let this tea finish and then we're going to, uh... Yeah, it's just that not nice. Um, thank you, Miyatsumo. Um, take that. That's got a half hour till it's boiled. Um, I suppose I might as well make more water. Let's repair this hat. So I've got some cloth. I'm going to use the sewing kits. You can see how much I would repair it for. So it's at a 52%. If I successfully repair it, it'll be at 100%. And I have a 70% chance of success. So we'll repair, we'll use one of our sewing kits. Spend a half hour. There we go. Now the hat is in much better condition. That'll keep us a lot warmer. Take the water. Cook another tea. Things are going okay. And yes, the tea is still hot. Everything worked out. Look at me. as soon as the fire does, too. Okay. Let's... Pass time till done. Take that tea. Pass time till done. Oh, it didn't finish! No! You know what, I'll just leave it there. That's fine. Um... I don't want to burn more firewood at this point. That's probably a bad call, but I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm okay with it. That is a better condition hat. So that's okay. So what I'm checking right now is the condition of the clothing I'm wearing to make sure. Interesting. The hoodie has got to be warmer if it's in better condition, right? I could look that up, but... Okay, my thermal underwear is a disaster. Let's get this <laughs> repaired.
until we get to nighttime, and then I'll drink what I can drink. Go to sleep. And tomorrow, hunger will be a problem, but we'll get out of here. So our warmth bonus is 20 degrees, which is pretty good. Uh, yes, we are close. So anytime I can, I make the time pop up myself. I can check that myself. So we're we're approaching sunset right now. Um, what we'll do is we will drink a tea. Yes, I can tear down ratty clothes to repair clothes. Um, and you can do that in the dark. What I'm going to do at this point, since I feel relatively safe, I'm going to make sure I'm not going to die of thirst in the sleep. And see if I can get some health back. Uh, I need to get my way to a forge, Miyamatsumo. That's the, that's the, the big goal. Um, and I don't really know my way around that much, if I'm honest. So I think I'm going to leave and head up towards the cave system that I think takes me to Coastal Highway. I think that's where that goes. Oh. Um, we'll try that out. So it's now the middle of the night. Um. I can hear another blizzard going on. Let's... What is some terrible clothing that I can take a little time to tear apart? I, thank you so much, Miyamatsumo. I appreciate it. You have a good weekend. Uh, so there are three forges on the map. Um, they are in fixed locations. They are not randomized. And so... Um, if you know where they are, getting to them can become a priority. Because, again, want to... Uh, want to make better tools. It's gonna let me. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's too dark to repair. I continue to tear things down. The extra sports socks we can tear apart. We're just breaking things apart in the middle of the night right now. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And you get some weight off of you, obviously. You get some cloth, too, which also adds weight. But I don't necessarily need all of it. But what I am going to do is I'm going to turn some cloth into bandages. So I'll have those handy as well. Okay, I am going to... So these are some herbs, medicinal herbs we had harvested earlier. Uh, they take time to prepare, but you can do it with your bare hands. And you can make medicinal teas out of the herbs as well. So 
So I'll have those handy, ready to cook when we need to. I'm getting close to our weight limit. Turn these into tinder. Okay, how are we doing? We've got 42 matches, some sticks, some firewood. If there was light, I could spend time reading these books and actually increase my skills at these things. Um, but we're still we're still on can I live right now. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drink this last soda. And you will notice I am out of food. Which is a slight problem, but... There's my bed, there's my bed. I'll sleep till daylight. Almost daylight, we're rested. Take the cooking pot with us. For sure. I could eat anything right now. Right, so do we go now? We cold out. I don't have any time to waste, though. Let's just go for it. I've got energy. We'll probably start starving at some point, but... You know, what else is new? See what I can do in the future to change the stream settings a little bit so that it's a little easier for you guys to see in the dark. Because I do not have a problem seeing right now, but obviously it's very dark on the stream. I'll see what I can do about that for next time. So because it is early in the morning, we're getting it's very cold out, so we're getting cold very quickly. But that's just the way it is. So. No, we raided all the homes in that little town. Um, I could go travel along the rivers, harvest more cattails, that kind of thing, but like I said, I want to get to a different region. If we get to a new region, there will be more stuff for us to search through. the um, weather in this region can be very punishing, so that's another reason I want to get out of here. I believe it's through here. Oh, that's a deer. Okay. Mining road. That's what I'm looking for. It's too cold. It's too cold. easier difficulty, that whole area, um, you can find a gun there, and you can, you can camp out for quite a while, um, hunting deer and living off that for a bit. Um, also, you'd have more tools, so you, it's easier for you to get more firewood, but at the moment... I could eat a horse. There's just not enough supplies for me to stay there until I, I start making more tools. If we get into the cave, it should be a little warmer there, I hope.
no, that's quite all right. Uh, like I said, I, we we play female Survivor because it's much better voice acting. I like her lines a lot. One of my favorite lines, most terrifying, but one of my favorite lines is, wait, I'm so cold. I'm beginning to warm up again. Fantastic. Yeah. This is more medicinal herbs. We can use that to make... Uh, Antibiotic? Uh, bandages? So that if you get like a wolf bite, you could use those and then you won't have to worry about infection. A couple more sticks. And here is our cave entrance. A bunch of stone. I want to wait so you guys can get a good look at this, but I might need to make a fire out there so I can see in here, actually. Yeah, because it is pitch black in here at the moment. We're not quite yet at sunrise. Yeah, that's what I thought. The game will not let you start a campfire indoors. We'll make one outside. There's no wind at the moment, so Damn. should work. I'm freezing. Failed to start Come the fire. On, little fire. Come on. We're just Come using up matches. Fire. Come on, little fire. There we go. Oh, lucky day. Got a fire going, and in fact, take our cups of tea and cook them. And like I said before, when they warm up, um, we we can drink them hot, and that'll warm us up too. And so that's the the cave entrance. Uh, real inviting. You know, it looks it looks very safe and secure, and like we will be protected from the wild animals in there. So. to death. Or at least not immediately. And so we will take torches and extinguish them. And we'll use these as our light sources in there. Last tea. Take this torch. We'll take the lit torch into the coal mine. What could go wrong? So 
So, fun fact about the game, that mapping I showed you earlier, you're not allowed to map indoors. And I will say I do not know the caves very well at all. Okay, we're gonna go around the other way. So, we're just gonna do our best to not get lost. That's the plan. It's foolproof. We are gonna find coal. Coal is very good. Okay, so this... This stuff will come in handy. ...is the most important piece of loot that we could possibly find. If something terrible happens and we ended up cold and wounded and bleeding to death and everything is bad, we can give ourselves this stim shot and for 60 seconds we'll stop losing condition and we'll have infinite sprint regardless of whatever else is going on. So you just have 60 seconds to get to safety. That is our emergency medicine. There is no way to make more stims. They do not respawn. There's a limit to how many of them are in the game. You can find all of them and just and just sort of keep track as your run goes how many are left in your world. not going to gather all of the coal in here, because um, that'll start to weigh me down, but I'm going to carry a handful of pieces. Let me get the one back here, actually. And, as we all know, death lies to the left, so we're going to stick to the right. about to run out, so we are going to grab another torch and light it on the old one. And that's how we can keep fire going. Take the scrap metal. I could spend time breaking down that crate, but that's not good. That will that will take up time for my torches and such. Huh. What we, here? we found a hacksaw. Okay, we're gonna take that with us. That is heavy, but that is a tool that we can use to harvest meat if we need to. starving to death, you know. What else is new? But we found a chocolate bar. I suppose I could eat that. But at this point, I'd rather just take my time here. I'll live longer if I wait to eat that.
guys lost yet. Feeling lost in the mines. I can see light. down, but hopefully we'll find some more shelter soon and we can put some of our supplies down somewhere. We have made it to the coastal highway. our way towards the beach we'll find another road and more houses and stuff down there so that's that's the vague direction I'm going to go is down the hill towards a beach we're gonna keep torches going we're gonna try we're gonna try to keep torches going Try to keep torches going because then we can get where we're going and start a fire there if we want to. <laughs> Looks like we got a little trailer up here. We'll chuck it. Shouldn't take long to search. start carrying scrap metal on me so that when we get to the forge we'll have more metal to work with. Hope nobody needs this anymore. So we can make more tools, more arrowheads. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very heavy. You're okay. Try to not throw ourselves off the mountain and get hurt. There's a road I was talking about. You and I are having the same thought. Oh, um, we'll see if we can get some shelter. Supplies. You know, this is not what I had in mind. This is uh. It's a goddamn freezing. This is all destroyed. There's another trailer. Oh boy. So, when we get attacked by a wolf, will definitely happen at some point. 
possibly very soon. Time will slow down very briefly, and I will have an opportunity to defend myself. And I'll get to choose a tool to defend myself with. Hatchets are very good, but obviously we don't have one. But since we do have the hammer, we can fight back and possibly scare them away with that. I'm just going to keep walking. You do your thing, I'll do my thing. You know what? I'm not worried about calories at the moment, since I'm already starving, so let's just run. Let's just We'll just get some run going. There is an ice fishing cabin over there. Why are you chasing me so much? Please stop. Wolfie, please. Yeah, go after that deer. You heard him too. There, we just the, the wolf went for a deer instead. No, don't extinguish open the hood. Thank you. Okay, so now, if I wanted, I could go chase the wolf and try to scare him off the deer in order to salvage meat from it. Uh, but right now, we're freezing to death, so we're going to focus on that problem first. Yes, and Hursty, that's exactly it. How are we gonna not freeze to death today? Thank you. Alright, so that torch got completely extinguished, which is fine because we're inside now. Oh, it's an empty can. Okay. I was like, soda, give me the soda. <laughs> cooking book. This will be very important. Um, raising our cooking skill will allow us to get more calories out of the food we cook. Uh, and if we can max out our cooking skill, uh, then we won't have to worry about... Uh, there's another hacksaw. Uh, we won't have to worry about spoiled food anymore. We could, we could eat bad food if our cooking is very, very good. This is a little auto shop. It's got workbenches to work with. Don't mind me just decorating. Um, these are very heavy and I don't need to carry them with me, so we're going to put all these on the table. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. We're working on it. We're dropping it right now.
perfect. Chips, and they're in really good condition. We can stay here for a bit, which we might we might try to do. So we can get some supplies together. We'll see if we can, maybe next time, we'll see if we can get a deer carcass, cook up a bunch of meat before we move on from this region. Got another note? Two more joined us today. Seems their horse couldn't go any further. One of them's called Sean. He's from Ireland. Not quite home, but close enough. Apparently he came here for an acting career. Best thing, though, is that he's got a bag of fruit pastilles that he's going to share with just me. Probably for the best, since everyone's so paranoid. The other idiots would probably think he was trying to poison them. I thought it'd be safer this far north. Less people and all. Maybe I should leave. Just search all of these. Yep, there's a fire barrel, there's a bed, there's a workbench, there's tools. If we can get a food supply going, this is not a bad place to stay. we found. Dog food. Not great, but it's food. Alright, so we've stopped losing health. We're no longer encumbered. More little houses and stuff around here. Cars and things. So we'll check these out. I think I can use this. Let's eat it. Cool. Alright. Now we're not starving. We got water. We got a place to sleep. No wolves are immediately chasing us. Sleep, so we'll restore even more health. I can't feel my feet. Yeah. inside. We have saved. It's just about 10 o'clock, so I think I'm going to stop it here. We'll stay in this coastal house, and we'll search the rest of this area next time. Um, for now, that'll do it. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me again today. I had a really good time, and, and I look forward to seeing you all again next week, and we'll see about staying alive another couple days. We are... We're doing quite well, actually. We are now day four. Moving along in the coastal highway, day four. Um, we've game can't count, but 
We've survived two days, covered 7% of the world. We have expended over 8,000 calories. So, we are... We are doing okay. We'll see. We'll see how well this keeps going. But alright, thank you all so much for joining me. You all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, everybody.